Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multiplying radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, 3 square root of 2 plus the square root of 5 times the square root of 2 minus 3 square root of 5r. Okay. Well, since I cannot simplify within each parenthesis, I'm going to take all parts of my first parenthesis and multiply it by all parts of my second parenthesis. So 3 times the square root of 2, uh, square root of 2 times square root of 2, is just 3 square root of 2 times 2. I'm going to put that square root of 2 and square root of 2 into one big parenthesis. Next part here, 3 square root of 2 times minus 3 square root of 5 r. Well, uh, 3 times 3, or minus 3 is minus 9, right? And then the square roots into one big uh, square root here is 2 times 5 times r. Next part, square root of 5 times square root of 2 is plus square root of 5 times a 2. And then lastly, square root of 5 times minus 3 square root of 5r. This is minus 3 square root of 5 times 5 times r. Okay? So now we need to simplify that. Okay? So, pair of 2's right here. Pair of 2's represent an individual on the outside. So square root of 2 times 2 is just 2. So we have 3 times 2 right there. Minus 9 here. Well, 2, 5, and r, there are no pairs there. I can combine, so I'm going to multiply 2 times 5 back out. We have square root of 10, r right here. Well, this one here, 5 times 2, again, no pairs. No way to break it down, so we have square root of 10, multiplying 5 times 2. This last one here, um, I have a pair of 5s right there. So a pair of 5s represent an individual on the outside. So we have 3 times 5 here times the square root of just the r. So let's just tidy this up here. 3 times 2 is a 6, minus 9 square root of 10r, okay, plus square root of 10, and minus 3 times 5 is 15, 15 square root of r. Since there's no square roots that are the same here, I cannot combine anything, no numbers that I can combine. So my final answer here is written as 6 minus 9 square root of 10r plus square root of 10 minus 15 square root of r. So let's recap. We're given square root, uh, I'm sorry, 3 square root of 2 plus square root of 5 times square root of 2 minus 3 square root of 5r. All parts of my first parenthesis get multiplied by all parts of my second parenthesis. Distributing that across, I get I got 3 square root of 2 times 2 minus 9 times the square root of 2 times 5 times r plus square root of 5 times 2 minus 3 times square root of 5 times 5 times r. A pair of 2's represent an individual 2 on the outside, and the square root was eliminated. 2 times 5 couldn't break down anymore, so I just uh, made that the 10, so 10r right there. Again, 5 times 2, same thing, it's just square root of 10. A pair of 5's, though, brought an individual 5 on the outside. Now I simplified 5 times, uh, 3 times 5 would be my minus 15 there, or minus 3 times 5, minus 15, and 3 times 2 being a 6. That gave me, with nothing else to combine here, my final answer, 6 minus 9 square root of 10r plus square root of 10 minus 15 square root 